Hey everyone, today I'll be going over some tips on leveling up your foraging skill level in Farmstead. There's only a few methods to gain XP for foraging, but I will show you all some good ways to significantly speed up your progress. Alright, so let's dive right in. Okay, so firstly, let me check out my progress. So as of right now, I'm at level 8 in foraging. So yeah, that's my level. Alright, firstly, you're going to want to make sure that you have a good scythe, either a copper scythe or a silver scythe. I believe the silver scythe you get at level 7 in farming. Okay, so the first way to gain XP in foraging is by cutting up grass. As you can see, I get a pretty good amount of XP, but not as much as you should, but it does build up over time. All right, another way is by picking up sticks, mushrooms, flowers, and wild berries. So as you can see, I get about two from flowers and four from mushrooms, and I think five from sticks. Uh, no, four or two from sticks. Okay. So yeah, you get a pretty good amount while cutting grass also. And make sure that you get these fossils because they give you, I believe, 12. Yeah, they give you 12 XP, which is really good. All right, so yeah, doing this is a pretty good method. I'm going to speed it up and see how much XP I can get. And yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so after about two minutes, I got around 500 XP. So yeah, that's a pretty good way to uh, gain up your XP in foraging. But I'm gonna show you all about an even better way to increase your XP. So first, let me come over here. All right, so another method is by placing down these flower pots. Uh, you get these flower pots from the functional tab in the shop. And as you can see, I get around one XP and they do respawn every five minutes. So every five minutes you can come and collect these flowers. So yeah, you can have a ton of these and it will be quick XP. But I recommend using the mushroom boxes. As you can see, I have a ton of them. They are a bit expensive, but if you have a lot of money, you can just buy a ton of these and you'll get two XP each, which is really good. So yeah, and they, la they respawn every 30 minutes. So yeah. Um, I use the mushrooms because of the purple mushrooms. These give you the ultra fertilizer, which gives you times two growth when planting crops. So yeah, I love using the mushrooms to increase my foraging level. So yeah, I'm going to collect all of these and see how much I'll get and I'll be right back. All right, so after collecting all those mushrooms, I got a, around 900 XP. So about every 30 minutes, I'm getting around 900 XP just from collecting these mushrooms. And here's all the mushrooms. Let's go and see how much we can get for them. I did have to delete some because I ran out of inventory space. But let's see how much we can get from these mushrooms. All right, so I'll put them all in here. Not the purple ones, though. I'm going to hold on to the purple ones. All right, so we get 14,000 coins, which is not that bad. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to save these purple mushrooms to make ultra fertilizer. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. If you do plan on using the mushroom boxes to gain XP, I highly suggest you do it pretty quickly as there's a chance that developers might reduce the amount of XP. And uh, yeah, that's about it for me. If you have any questions, be sure to... Leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer it. And yeah, thanks for watching.